Hello, this is Morning Gallery. The artwork I will introduce today is the work of Ellen Giovanni Segantini. Giovanni Segantini was an Italian painter known for his beautiful landscapes and portraits. He was born in Arco, in the northern region of Trentino Alto Adige Sutterol, and grew up in poverty. Despite his humble beginnings, Segantini became one of the most famous Italian artists of the late 19th century. Segantini began his artistic training in Milan, but later moved to Switzerland, where he spent much of his life. He was heavily influenced by the natural beauty of the Swiss Alps and the rural life of the region. His paintings often depict idyllic mountain landscapes, filled with vibrant colors and shimmering light. He also created portraits, still lifes, and other types of paintings, but it was his landscapes that made him famous. One of Segantini's most famous paintings is The Punishment of Lust, which depicts a group of naked women being punished for their sins. The painting caused controversy when it was first exhibited, but it also brought Segantini a great deal of attention and fame. Segantini died at the young age of 41, from complications related to pneumonia. Today, his works can be found in museums around the world, including the National Gallery of Modern Art in Rome and the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston. It is good to appreciate Giovanni Segantini's work from an artistic point of view, considering the technical aspects of his paintings, such as his use of color, light, and composition. It is also important to appreciate his work in the context of the time in which he lived and worked, and to understand the social, cultural, and political influences that shaped his artistic vision. Moreover, one can appreciate Segantini's works from a historical perspective, as his paintings offer a glimpse into the way of life and natural beauty of the Alps in the late 19th century. Additionally, his paintings can be appreciated from a personal point of view, as they convey a sense of emotion and mood that can resonate with viewers. Ultimately, the appreciation of Segantini's work is subjective and can vary from person to person. However, taking into consideration different perspectives can provide a richer understanding and appreciation of his art. When you appreciate this artworks, it's a better appreciation if you refer to the features in the video description. How about starting the day with a cup of coffee and a piece of art? Have a pleasant viewing.